Hello friends, my name is Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we are going to learn about types of game section and then we will learn about determining process of moment of resistance and finally we will see one numerical on it. First of all, we will see types of reinforced concrete beams. The first one is singly reinforced beam. What is singly reinforced beam? It is the beam in which the steel reinforcement is placed in the tensile zone only. And they are called as singly reinforced beam. Here you can see that the reinforcements are provided at the bottom side. And that is considered as the tension zone of beam. Next type is doubly reinforced beam. It is the beam in which steel reinforcement are provided in tension as well as in compression zone. Okay, here you can see that in this section the steel reinforcement are provided in bottom that is uh, that is a zone of tension and at the top of beam section that is a zone of compression. Okay, third type is flange beam. In most of the reinforced concrete structure the slabs and beams are casted monolithically and thus the beams forms a part of the floor system. When the beam bends, a part of slab also bends along with the beam. So the intermediate beams in a floor system act as a T beam. Here you can see that. And the end beams are called as L beams. Okay. The beams in which a portion of slab acts together with the beam for resisting compressive stresses are called as flange beam. Now we will see the types of problem. The first type is to determine moment of resistance of the given section. In the problem statement, they will give the dimensions of the section in the form of B, that is the width, and effective depth D of the section. They can give area of steel reinforcement, that is AST, and the grade of materials, that is the grade of concrete and grade of steel. So what is the procedure to solve that? We will see step by step. The first step, so from the given grade of concrete and steel, we have to determine the permissible stresses in concrete as well as permissible stresses in steel. That is sigma CBC and sigma ST. We can get the values of sigma CBC and sigma ST from the table number 21 and table number 22 from IS code of 456-2000. I have already given that table in last video. Okay, so from there you can get that value. Then we have to calculate modular ratio, that is the M. Okay, from the formula M is equal to 280 divided by 3 into sigma CBC, where M is modular ratio. Then our third step is to determine critical neutral axis. Okay. We denote critical neutral axis by symbol NC. And we have the formula M into sigma CBC divided by sigma ST is equal to NC divided by D minus NC. Where NC is unknown and we have to find out the value of NC. Our next step is determining the actual neutral axis. And we can calculate neutral axis N from the formula B into N square divided by 2 is equal to M into AST in bracket D minus N. Okay, where N is critical neutral axis, B is effective width of the section and AST is area of steel. Okay, then our next step will be comparing N and NC, that is comparing actual neutral axis and critical neutral axis. Why? To find out the type of section. Okay, if we get N is equal to NC, that means it is the balance section. And the moment of resistance can be calculated by any of the formula, which is given here. That is MR is equal to 1 by 2 sigma CBC into B into NC in bracket D minus N by 3. Or we can also find the moment of resistance from formula sigma st into ast in bracket d minus n by 3. Okay, if we get 
n is less than n c that is our actual neutral axis is less than the critical neutral axis then hence the section will be under reinforced section and the formula for calculating moment of resistance is mr is equal to sigma st into ast in bracket d minus n by 3 similarly if we get the our neutral axis that is our actual neutral axis is greater than critical neutral axis the section will be over reinforced and we have formula for that mr is equal to 1 by 2 into sigma cbc into b into n in bracket d minus n by 3 here you have observed that there are only two formulas to calculate moment of resistance okay sometimes it is required to find out the safe load also which the beam can carry for this purpose to calculate the safe load we have to equate maximum bending moment and moment of resistance of the section to get the values of maximum bending moment we know that there are some formulas for simply supported beam carrying udl we have the formula for maximum bending moment is wl square by 8 while for cantilever beam carrying a udl we have the formula for maximum bending moment is wl square by 2 where l is the effective span of beam okay now we will see one numerical here based on our type 1 type 1 is to determine moment of resistance we have the problem statement here find the moment of resistance of a rcc beam 300 mm wide and 500 mm effective depth is reinforced with 3 bars of 16 mm okay m20 concrete and fe415 steel is used okay here we have to find out the moment of resistance here the width is given as 300 mm and effective depth of is 500 mm and the beam section is reinforced with 3 bars of 16 mm diameter while the grade of concrete is 20 and grade of steel is 415 okay now what will be our solution strategy we will determine first sigma cbc and sigma st from table number 21 and 22 of is 456 2000 okay then we have formula for modular ratio that that will be our second step then third we will determine the critical neutral axis that is nc then we will also determine determine the actual neutral axis that is n and we will compare both n and nc that is we will compare actual neutral axis and critical neutral axis why to find out the section type whether our section is balanced under reinforced or over reinforced okay and finally we will find out the moment of resistance according to our section type now here in problem statement small b is given as a 300 mm and a small d that is the effective depth of the beam is given as 500 mm grade of concrete is m20 and grade of steel is fe415 okay from table number 21 we will get the value sigma cbc for m20 and which will be 7 newton per mm square similarly we will find out the value of sigma st from table number 22 for fe415 and we will get the value for sigma st as 230 newton per mm square here three bars of 16 mm diameters are given therefore from that data we can find out the area of steel and we know that from multiplying the number of bar into the area of one steel bar we can get the area of total steel okay so here we will find out the area of steel and here we have the three bars of 16 mm diameter so we will multiply 3 into area of one steel bar that is pi by 4 into diameter square and here the diameter is 16 square so we will get area of steel that is ast is equal to 603.42 mm square okay now our second step is to calculate modular ratio and we have the formula m is equal to 280 divided by 3 into sigma cbc our sigma cbc we have calculated it already from table number 21 and we have the value of sigma cbc as 7 so putting this value in the formula and we will get the answer m is equal to 13.33 
Okay, now moving to our third step, that is to find out the critical neutral axis NC. And we can calculate NC from this equation. Okay. Here, the modular ratio, we have already calculated it as a 13.33 sigma CVC value from table number 21. We can, we have get this value as a 7 and sigma ST as 230 from table number 22. Okay. B is given already in problem statement that is 500 mm and from this equation, after solving this equation, we will get the answer of NC that is the depth of critical neutral axis is 144.13 mm. Okay. Now our next step is to find out the actual neutral axis that is N. So from this formula or this equation, we can also find the value of actual neutral axis. Here B that is the weight cross section is already given in the problem statement as 300 mm. N is unknown, M that is for modular ratio, we have already calculated it as a 13.33 mm. Area of steel, we have already calculated as 603.42 mm square. Small d, that is the depth of, or effective depth of the section is 500 mm and N is unknown. After calculating or after solving this equation, we will get the value of actual neutral axis N as 139.13 mm. Okay, now we will compare the critical and actual neutral axis values. So we have the value of n that is the value of actual neutral axis and it is 139.13 mm while the value of nc that is the value for critical neutral axis is 144.13. That means nc is greater than n or we can also say that n is less than nc and hence our beam is under reinforced section and we have the formula for calculating moment of resistance for under reinforced section we have to use that formula okay so here by using that formula we can calculate mr that is the moment of resistance here we have the formula mr is equal to sigma st into ast in bracket d minus n by 3 Okay, we have the all values here and from putting all values in this equation, we can calculate MR. So we got the value of MR that is moment of resistance is equal to 62.95 into 10 to 6 Newton mm, which is also equal to 62.95 kilonewton meter. Okay, here we have completed our first type of problem that is to calculate the moment of resistance. And this was the video about analysis of singly reinforced beam by working space method and we have solved the type 1 problem today. Thank you.